ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between, my name is The Smudge, and this is the Tiger 2 So, a little bit of context for you, um, while we're rolling towards the action. Um, I have, this is the first battle I've played with the Spade of Tiger 2, and that is why I have 23 rounds of a PCR ammunition. This was not a deliberate choice, but it's what we ended up with, so, yeah, just kind of make it with that. Um, I'm playing with Jet Power Tricycle, who some of you guys might know from the live stream, he's one of my best moderators, and he's also a fellow streamer, there is a link to his channel down below, I thoroughly recommend you to go and check him out. He is starting to play some War Thunder a bit at the moment, and I'm slowly convincing him to the moment. So, we are both playing in our Tiger 2 games, and we are rolling towards the Sea Cap, as you can see. Now, my standard procedure for taking the Sea Cap is to roll around the right, um, if you look at the minimap to see where those tanks are. And just kind of use that low wall as cover and see if we can flank again. On this match, however, I decide to do things a little bit differently, and it's going to result in one of the most hilarious games World of Tanks I have ever played. And me and Jet are absolutely wetting ourselves by the end. So, firstly, T25. Didn't check his corners. <laughs> so, that was nice. Uh, we are top tier for this match, so there's going to be a lot of fight points in the seal clubbing. Though, to be fair to them, with their 90mm guns at this range, they still stand they can easily penetrate my turret from any direction. Bear that in mind for later on. So I'll just check my corner here. I see the muzzle flash. This is 25 I'm trying to pull out and get a shot at them, and he ducks into cover. The jet, as you can see on the minimap, is just behind me, covering my position. And in a minute, he's going to push up on the T25, and then I'm going to push up on him as well. And we're basically going to force this guy to make a decision. Any second. Meanwhile, our team are getting absolutely annihilated. So every tank number 6 in the back there, but I haven't noticed them just yet. And when Jet kills the T25. We have a team of players at this point, and I was the episode number 6, so we should get into his gun handling. That's his cannon kind of locked out. Forward. I completely failed to take a shot at this M36 that's coming up because I'm too focused on this M36. Too to fair, was probably still just a bunch of threat. So I take him down and I go back to check that side, and this is where I lose the chance to shoot the M36. Now, Jed at this point has been knocked out. He was killed by that other M36 that's near the side of the sea leg. I am now aware that there is an M36 Jackson um, pushing around behind those walls. Slugger, sorry. Ah, it's just an empty system. Right. In a minute, I'm gonna make a decision. Uh, right now, I'm actually using my free look to look around a little bit. I'm just trying to check that side. I'm waiting to see if I can find that other M36 in jet. Can't see him, so I'm now pushing up. One more you know he is. Now he's gonna get back behind that wall just in time to save himself, or so he thinks, by a one shot line. Kill number three. And it will not be the last. <laughs> is that how we see it? I'll swap myself and the M18 and M19. Decide that the M18 is the more dangerous threat. The M18 accepts its fate and it's going to take a shell, that's a hole break and then tank. Now, remember that M19 got away? Well, he's going to become a little bit of a fall on my side. Well, I'm assuming it's that one anyway. There's going to be quite a few M19s. It's going to be very difficult to keep track of who's who with them, basically. Okay, so now I'm still. Now I know there's still this M26 around here who's killed Jet. That's what we're currently looking for. It's a quick spoiler alert, guys. I'm not going to make it out of this position. Not the scene. This is going to be. We're going to spend the entirety of this battle in this area. Now then. Spot the M19 on the side there, put an 88mm shot on it, and it does absolutely nothing. Hits the Amarak, doesn't kill it. The M19 shits himself, stops driving away. And I'm still looking for him and that M36, who obviously I don't know is actually just behind that wall. This is right here, but the M36 should have killed me. I've now realised that he is fire a shell, he misses, there's an M18 pushing up, here's the M36 again. He has the perfect shot, puts it in my angle side. Why do you Put one of his engine in the radiator. But his gun's still up. Well, I'm now giving him the back of my tail. He starts coming at me. The M36 
Mega 6 knocks out my radiator. And I'm just playing Ring Around the Roses. I'm hoping the enemy can try to get away, but hold break exists, so he's down. I realise I'm not going to do much about the team. I have to stop the 6 trying to shoot him. He puts one in the rear of my tank, which doesn't kill me for some strange reason. It really shouldn't be maybe for my turret. And I'm guessing I must have knocked out his gun after that shot. I wasn't really paying attention to it. was all happening so fast, and I finished him off as well. Meanwhile, Jet is sitting there looking at me and screaming at me down the chat, like, how the hell are you still alive? And the M19, I think, is feeling the same way, because he doesn't even move, he doesn't even try and shoot, he just accepts his fate. And his fate, for some reason, is going to take another 8 yeah. shell. Yeah. And there he goes. I don't know what's going on with these, M these M19s in this match, they've been eating all their wheat base, though. Right, so we're now disabled on C. With seven kills in total so far. It's not over yet though. This Tiger 2 eats so many rounds. I don't know what happened to the enemy team in this match. But I was surrounded by two tank destroyers shooting at me. And, and an M19 distracting me, and none of them managed to get the kill. Speaking of M19s, here comes another one. And I don't know if I actually managed to get this one. I think you might get away. I'm not paying attention, so I failed to notice him. I now realise he's there when he starts firing. He tries to get away, and bang, missed. Start filling up with 762, start really wishing I had 50. Oh, I take a shot to the back of the turret. So I'm pulling back, trying to get myself sorted out, get the gunner back up, and turn around to see who took the shot. There's an M26 down there. T25, T25 rolls in, fires a shot, misses, I kill him, the M26 is still shooting at me. And M19 is putting shots into the rear of my team. So I prioritise the M36, he gets a kill, I'm trying to find tracks in, there are actually two M19s shooting at me. I'm completely surrounded, I can't see anything that's going on that M19, ducks into cover behind those pipes, and there's another one there. I don't have some machine gun because I didn't have a shell loaded. That's my loader is taken out. And yeah, this, this is just amazing. It feels so bad for these poor Pokemon teams because there's just nothing they can do to me. Other than just keep pounding me full of shells. So if I one of the Black Prince, the M19 comes out. Again, he manages to slip past the slow bit. That was an aircraft trying to drop some bombs on me, so that should have been a dead there. M19 still running absolute rings around me. Managed to kill that one, but kill number 9. There's a P47 coming in. And I'm just thinking this is it. There's only half of us left. There's a thousand pound bomb. It does. I say it does nothing. It knocks out my gun barrel. And retracts. And now the M19 is still shooting at me. For some strange reason, my tank is still alive. <sighs> yeah, there's me and IS2 left on our team, and that is about it. Everyone else is dead, and it's just a case of who can kill the Tiger 2. Not that guy. <laughs> Another bomb that fails to kill my tank, knocks out my gun barrel. I'm left to have mercy basically on the M19. He hasn't quite realised that my gun's not actually working yet, although it is back up now. I'm still left wondering how big this is that can take. Hello. M19 keeps trying to get in. Here comes some rockets from something. The tank just keeps taking hit after hit after hit, so I'm just farming so many small points. I'm actually going to end up with 3,000 small points just from the amount of hits that I have taken, as well as the nine tanks I managed to kill. Here come some more shots. There's the M19 again. He's just pounding round after round into my track. Oh, I realise basically I'm going to kill and there's the one, there's the one that finally destroys my tank. That is more or less the end of this round. We finish up with, um, 3,000 spawn points. I managed to jump into a panther, but the game ends before I can really leave the spawn.
So yeah, that was a Tiger 2, getting Tiger 2P, getting 9 kills, while uh, several points surrounded by enemy tanks with 90mm guns that should have been able to kill me by all right, but completely failed to on every single given opportunity. Sadly, we did lose this round, and I only came out of this round with 3,000 um, art research points with the premium count. Still kind of questioning that. I was 3,800, and I'm still kind of questioning that collection. Like, I feel like that warranted more, especially because before this, we played an accidental arcade match where I got six kills in the Tiger 2P. I came out of that game with 4,000 RP. So if you can explain that one to me, and you're a smarter man than I am. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Uh, just a quick and just a quick heads up, there will be a Tiger 2P game coming up, because the match after this, I had another slightly amusing engagement. Not quite as amusing as this one, but it was amusing all the same. Adios.